Dear shareholders and friends of CarSize Meditech, it's my great pleasure to welcome you and guide you through our Q1 21-22 interim report. We delivered revenue of 410 million euros, up around 11% versus the past year. Order intake grew by 24% to close to 500 million euro. I'm very happy with these growth trends and they provide a good start into the fiscal year. Let me point out the supply chain situation, as evidenced by the order intake being quite high versus revenues, continues to remain difficult and is restricting some of our growth potential for the time being. Both strategic business units contributed to this growth. Ophthalmic devices grew by 10% with a strong contribution once again from our recurring business such as surgical consumables and implants. Microsurgery advanced by 16%. Main regional driver was once again Asia Pacific. Also the Americas region achieved double digit growth. The region EMEA grew a bit slower, but we are also looking at a very, very strong order book and keep seeing healthy demand for our products and solutions. EBIT grew slightly to 74 million euro, up around 1 million year over year. The EBIT margin was 18.1% down from 19.9% a year ago. The last year's numbers were a bit inflated by a one-time gain of 2.4 million euro from a property transaction. We did see, as we have been forecasting for some time, substantial growth in operating expenses as the industry returned to in-person congresses and trade shows and we are in the process of launching important new products. Earnings per share were down in Q1 to 42 cent due to non-operating factors such as a weak financial result from hedging transactions. Regarding these new products, specifically Visomax 800 for refractive surgery and Quatera 700 for phaco emulsification and cataract surgery, we are seeing quite encouraging feedback from our customers and have completed the first installments. Still, as we have pointed out in December at our full year results, financial impact this fiscal year should still be somehow limited. For fiscal year 21-22, our forecasts remain unchanged. Sales should grow at least in line with the underlying markets. EBIT margin should be between 19 to 21 percent, down a notch from last year as the OPEX levels normalize after the pandemic. In the midterm, we want to see our EBIT margin sustainably above 20 percent. Strong growth in our recurring business remains the main positive driving factor, whereas there continues to be a high level of reinvestment need for sales and marketing and R&D. Thank you for your interest. Please reach out to our investor relations team for questions and meeting requests. Thank you very much. Hi there. Since you watched this company video until the end, I'm guessing you liked the video. And that's probably because we work very hard to create the most engaging and added value content for you. If you're a company and want to find out how we at Seat 11A can make a company video with and about you, please email us at content at seat11a.com.